Hey, hey everybody, this is Sean Mullen for creativecow.net. I'm really excited to share a new tool set with you that literally brings stereoscopic post-production to the masses. Today, I'm gonna to show you how easy it is to turn your company logo into a stereoscopic animation. So if your client or your boss calls you up and says, hey, can you do our logo in stereo 3D? The answer is yes. All you need is After Effects CS3 or later and a copy of the Rampant Stereo Suite from Rampant Design Tools. Now the Stereo Suite is part of the Creative Cow Master Tools series, so if you don't already have it, head on over to RampantDesignTools.com, click on the Products tab, and then the Stereoscopic Effects. From there you can read more about it, check out some tutorials and examples, and grab a copy for yourself. Alright, to make the stereo animation, we're going to use the Lift After Effects template from the Stereo Suite. And I've got our project open, here's the template, and I've already created a folder inside this template and brought in our company logo and imagery. We're going to jump into the Animate Comp. This is where the majority of the work is going to be done. Let's start by double-clicking on the Background Comp. Here you'll see the default Lift Background Layer. In this comp, you can drop a movie file, a photo, uh, create your own background, whatever you want to do. Right now, we'll start off by creating our own background. So let's add a new solid, and then add a ramp to the solid. I'm going to pick a blue for the top color, then sample that and pick a darker variant of the same blue for the end color. Now I switch the ramp shape to radial and drag the start of the ramp to the center and the end of the ramp out to make a nice vignette effect. Let's head on back to the anime comp and double click on lifter. Let's turn off the default text and background layer here and drop in our logo. I'm using an Adobe Illustrator file but you can use any kind of imagery here that you like. All right. Let's scale this up to around 207, that looks good. Now let's go back to the Animate tab and click on Lifter number 2. You can add text here or imagery here or anything else just like Lifter 1. Now I'll drop in the Creative Cow URL here. I'm going to scale it up to 207 just like the logo. When we head back to the Animate tab, you'll see our logo, URL, and background layers. If we scrub through the timeline real quick, the logo has already been animated. That's because the Lifter 1 layer comes with a default animation path to help illustrate what you're supposed to do in this comp. For this tutorial, that default animation is fine, so all I need to do is go ahead and animate the URL to match. So I'll hit P for position and click on the stopwatch. Then I click on the go to the next keyframe button on the Lifter 1 layer. Now I'm going to drag out the Z position of the Lifter 2 layer. I want there to be some separation between the two layers, and I want the URL to kind of come further towards the camera than the logo. So to do that, I'm going to make this minus 500, so it's 150 pixels further than the logo. And I typically like to ease my keyframes, so I'm going to right click on the last keyframe here and select Keyframe Assistant Easy Ease In. Again, I'm going to do the same on the first keyframe and select Keyframe Assistant Easy Ease Out. So let me hit RAM Preview here, and as it's previewing, we can see that our logo on our URL animates towards the camera. It looks cool, but there's nothing stereo about this. So we need to head over to the Project window, twirl down the Preview folder, and choose our stereo output. As you can see, we have three options here, red cyan, green magenta, and yellow blue. I personally have red cyan glasses, so I'm going to pick that. When we ram preview the Anaglyph comp, you now see our URL and logo layers animating towards the camera in stereo. It's that simple. So check this out, we have shadows that are being cast on the background layer. If you want to adjust this in any way, go to the Edit Appearance tab. So then when you click on the effect controls of the controls layer, you'll see a handful of useful sliders that will allow you to configure everything from shadow type, light angle, light diffusion, and the distance between your 3D cameras, which gives you the stereo effect. So what if I want to take this further and ditch the gradient background? No problem. Just like I said before, we can drop in a photo or video or a whole other set of comps right into the background layer. Alright, cool. So I drop in our pasture imagery and check it out. We now have Bessie over a nice green pasture right where she belongs. What if you wanted to get really crazy? What if you wanted to add tons more dimension and separation to your background layer? Well, you absolutely can. You can literally add dozens and dozens of lifters simply by duplicating the lifter comps in your project window and adding more lifters to the scene. In this particular scene, you could add clouds, separate the hills, or even add additional elements like cattle or a sun. That's the great thing about these tools. You can add whatever you like. The more you add, the more depth you have. So let's say this just isn't enough for you and you want even more depth on the logo and URL layers. No problem, we'll actually make these layers 3D. Go back to Lifter 1, pre-comp your logo layer. Add a 
add effect perspective bevel alpha to your logo pre-comp. And if you want, you can adjust the edge thickness and line angle. I'm cool with the default settings here. Now it's time to add some depth to the logo. Turn on the 3D layer. Hit P to open up the position properties. Now hit the Alt key and click on the position stopwatch. This opens up the expressions for the position of the layer. Now we replace the transform dot position with position plus bracket zero comma zero comma parentheses index minus one parentheses times 0.5 bracket. If you're anything like me, that sounds like a bunch of gibberish, but basically this expression is telling After Effects that every time I duplicate this layer, push the copy back in Z-space 0.5 pixels. Now you can change 0.5 to 1, to 2, to 5. I'm doing 0.5 so there's a minute amount of space between the layers, so it really gives the sense of it being 3D. All right, now the only thing we have to do is duplicate this layer. You can do it as many times as you want. I find that I try not to do this any less than 30. Now mind you, for every layer that you duplicate, you're adding to your render time, but that's cool. All right, once you have the number of duplicates that you like, we need to open up the Animate tab and click the Collapse Transformations checkbox. Otherwise, we won't see any of the extrusions that we just made. Check it out, when you adjust the X or Y rotation, you now see the logo in 3D. So let's do the same exact procedure for the URL layer. Open lifter number two, pre-comp and name the layer. Add effect perspective bevel alpha to your pre-comp. Click on the 3D checkbox, hit P for position, alt click the position stopwatch to bring up the expressions dialog. Enter in the same exact expression as last time, position plus bracket zero comma zero comma parentheses, index minus one, parentheses, times 0.5 bracket. All right, let's duplicate the layers. I'm gonna do 30 duplicates just like last time. Head back over to the Animate tab, click the Collapse Transformations checkbox so we can see our extrusions. Now just adjust our rotation and get a sense of the depth. Cool, but you know what, because I changed the background imagery, I want to go back to the original URL layer and add a channel invert filter to make the white text black. Yeah, that works a lot better. Okay, now click on the Anaglyph Preview Comp and check out our extrusion in stereo. There you have it, in just a few steps you can easily turn your company logo into a stereoscopic animation. And if you are working with stereoscopic footage, be sure to check out the rest of the Rampant Stereo Suite. The Align template has tools for adjusting convergence and fixing disparities, while the Stereo Cover template allows you to quickly create lower thirds and supers. So whether you are new to Stereo 3D or you work in it every day, the Rampant Stereo Suite is a great addition to your arsenal. All right, well, that about does it for me, so feel free to hit me up with any comments or questions that you may have. I look forward to seeing your stereoscopic work in the Creative Cow video library. Once again, this is Sean Mullen for creativecow.net. Thanks for watching.